I want to show you what I used to do back in the 80s when I was making all my friends big sleeve prom dresses. <laughs> we added these tool sleeve head poofs to kind of give some volume to the sleeves. Now, the regalia blouse is supposed to be more of a casual blouse, and I wasn't really expecting it to have huge sleeves. But sometimes we sew it up in the wrong fabric. Maybe you sewed it up in a rayon and the sleeves are just kind of droopy or maybe your long sleeves aren't as puffy as the short sleeves. And we can add a little extra by making this sleeve head poof. So I'm just using one layer of tulle. If you want extra oomph, you could do a couple layers, but I think one's all you really need. And I'm using the fine mesh because I didn't want it super scratchy against my skin. So first we're gonna fold the sleeve head poof in half so that the curved edges with the notches meet. Set your machine to the longest basting stitch and we're gonna stitch 3 eighths of an inch away from the raw edge of that curved notched edge of the sleeve head poof. Leave the thread tails long and do not backstitch. Now gently pull the thread tails to form even gathers and gather that sleeve head poof until it's approximately six inches. And secure the length and the gathers by stitching on top of the basting stitch and back tacking at the start and finish of the stitch. And you can finish the edge with a serger or a zigzag stitch. I prefer to keep these edges serged rather than using a binding, which is what they typically do in these nice dresses, formal dresses and things. They'll finish the edge, but we're going to kind of hide this into the seam and I don't want a lot of extra bulk. Now we're going to attach the sleeve head poof to the garment. And this gets a little tricky, but just remember that you want the poofy part of the sleeve head poof to be out into the shoulder sleeve head um, of your sleeve. So when we turn the garment inside out, the yoke seams will be pressed towards your sleeve. And so we want to sandwich that serged finished or zigzag finished edge of your sleeve head poof in between that seam that is the yoke seam to the sleeve seam. So it'll be in between the sleeve and that seam. First pin the sleeve head in place and then secure it by stitching it somewhere within that seam allowance. Make sure the sleeve head is centered somewhere over the shoulder seam. 